Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Michael here again from Guitargate.com. Thanks for all your support. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you want to check out all my courses, you can get started for free by clicking the link right in the description. Now, tuning is an issue we all have, playing in tune. We always check our tuners. You know, we're you know, in between songs on gigs, making sure we're in tune. Um, but it always seems to move. And a lot of you have probably noticed, sometimes you play a chord down here and it sounds in tune, and you play up here and it doesn't sound in tune. Um, or different inversions, different types of chords. You might be playing C, sounds in tune here, but not there. Um, there's a bunch of different reasons for this. It could be intonation up here, it could be your strings are dead, but I want to talk today about pressure. What is the correct amount of pressure? And you know, getting your ear used to when you're pulling or pushing something out of tune, and especially getting used to your guitar and finding specific spots on the neck where you seem to always have trouble. So, two types of pressure that I find always cause tuning issues. One is obviously finger pressure. How hard are you pressing down the frets? You can very easily hear that if I play a C major chord, I'm using very light pressure, just enough to get the strings down. There's a little warbliness, but not really, it's pretty much in tune. If I give it just the tiniest bit more pressure, you hear it start to move? You hear that? If I really press on it, I'm significantly out of tune. Listen to this. So I'm just gonna lightly, I'm gonna go from light to middle to strong and back. Listen to the changes I have playing the same guitar, not touching my tuning pegs. Hear how different that is? So, and you'll notice that, so I'm playing C major. What if I go to play C, say, in this, pattern three? Same deal. If I play it just like that, basically in tune. If I add different pressure, here it starts to move, but not as much, it's not as noticeable. What about here, pattern four? change my pressure. What you'll find is that each guitar, and this is extremely well-built, consistent guitar, but each guitar usually has certain spots on certain strings where things move a little more. Usually it's on the, I find, it's on either the fourth or third string, or four, three, and two strings, you know, depending. But Definitely the third string, and depending on the guitar, for me, my guitars is usually either the fourth or second string, which warbles a little bit. So, I also find that this has a lot to do with which fingers are strongest. For example, when I'm in this open C major position, right, because I don't have a finger on the third string, and that is a very prominent, you know, it's not ringing out, when I put pressure on the other strings, the open string doesn't move, just the strings I put pressure on. And since these two are arguably my strongest fingers, and I'm moving the root and the third, when they push against that fifth that's not moving in the open string, it becomes very, very noticeable. You know, in, uh, in other words, when I'm up here and I don't have any open strings, if I push hard with my first finger, it's going to push them all to a similar degree. Yes, my second finger might press a little harder than my pinky, but it's going to be much closer. It's going to be much less noticeable. This is why when you hear a lot of people that play uh, things that sound out of tune a lot, they're probably playing a lot of voicings with a lot of open strings, and they're not adjusting for the pressure because they get super excited. They're playing live, and you know they're not thinking about it. Um, they're not in a recording environment where they have headphones on and they can hear very clearly, and the open strings are in direct conflict to the varying pressure of your fingers. So the key takeaway here is realize which fingers are stronger. It's usually these two. You know, pinky's usually the weakest. Um, realize that whenever you're playing voicings with open strings, you want to try to consciously use 
less pressure with your stronger fingers because you're always, the slightest little difference is going to be noticeable because the open string is relatively fixed in pitch as opposed to bar chords and upper inversions of the neck um, where you can fight it and hide it a little bit. Case in point, when I play guitars that don't stay in tune well, I tend to really try to limit the amount of strings that I play, focus on just dyads and triads, and add that vibrato to really sell it. So if I have a string that's you know really out of tune or a spot on the guitar where it just doesn't really work right, if you eliminate options, use your strongest fingers, and if you hear something a little out, press it a little more, shake it a little bit, and you'll be able to fix it. This is a really a fine tuning thing for the ear, but great guitar players can do that. They can take guitars that don't stay in tune, don't have good intonation, and they can change the pressure, especially on chords that ring out, and you're spending a lot of time on them and are floaty you can make those adjustments on the fly. Second main issue pressure-wise with tuning is literally how much force are you pulling back on the guitar neck with. So you have this hand, which kind of pushes the guitar this way, and this hand, which pushes the guitar this way. Right? It's a constant thing. The strings are pulling it straight, and then you have this motion with your picking hand and this motion with your fretting hand. And if you listen, we've all done this with our guitars. You hit open strings, pull on it, go sharp, push on it, go as flat. This happens while we're playing, especially in live scenarios, all the time. Again, if I take that same C major chord, sounds relatively in tune. If I don't change my pressure, but I just pull with my picking hand a little bit, moving all over the place, right? What if I pull with my fretting hand? Same thing, it's the same basic process. If you pull with them both, you can actually make it fret out. So you can use this for effects, but the main thing you wanna do is realize that if you are feeling like you're not playing in tune, but you keep hitting your tuner and it keeps saying all green, and you're like, what's going on here? Chances are you're either using varying pressure, especially with open strings with your fretting hand, or you're putting too much pressure with either pulling the guitar against you with your uh, picking hand or with your fretting hand. You're pulling the strings towards the actual fretboard, making them go sharp. It's almost never the other way where you're making them go flat. It's almost always a sharpness, which is why you'll see a lot of guitar players, James Taylor is one that comes to mind, which use tunings where the little degrees are actually a little flat to compensate for their playing styles because they know how they pull you know, the string's sharp. It's always a matter of going too sharp. And so as your ears get more fine-tuned and your hands and your ears become more connected, what you'll do over time is you'll develop better pitch, not just in terms of tuning and vibrato and just knowing the pitch, but also the relative pitch among the strings based on how much pressure you put on the instrument. Check it, try it out, listen to some clean, put your guitar in a clean setting, Try some different voicings and play through some songs, stuff where the chords really ring out, and you'll definitely be able to hear it. And the more you listen to it, the more you try to fix it, the better it's gonna sound, the better your ear is gonna become, the more in tune you're gonna be. Good luck.